people around here probably been freaking out because they, they lost four games in the league. But uh, still got a Hall of Fame coach, still got a really, really good, probably first team All American type player. Um, and, and they still got one of the best home courts in, in all of America. So, um, you know, hats off to Kansas for you know, finding their way after a tough loss at, uh, on, I guess it was Tuesday. Um, but I'm proud of our kids. We competed. We, we just didn't have enough to stave off that, that run that they made in the second half. Um, that, that's part of what makes this league as good as it is. It's part of what makes this place a hard place to play because those things can come pretty quickly. And, and um, so we, we got to figure it out. We, um, we're getting better. I'm sure for some of you guys who have not seen us very often this year, look at our record and think, man, that. A team maybe shouldn't be in the Big 12 this year, but uh, we are improving, and uh, I'm proud of that. We'll continue to work. Um, whatever the thing is that people have that make them quit, I don't, I don't possess it. So what we'll do is we'll keep working, we'll keep um, fighting, and keep trying to compete, and eventually we'll have a breakthrough, and, and our guys won't look back. Mike, uh, Isaac said that, that that lapse there in the middle of the second half was more mental than anything. Would you agree with that? Uh, I mean, it seemed that way. Um, you know, obviously, they, they made several threes in a row. I don't know exactly what the breakdowns were. Um, obviously, we, we were playing a little bit of zone. Um, it's kind of become a thing that teams who haven't shot the ball well coming into our game all of a sudden find that magic touch and the ball just goes in the basket more. <laughs> um, but again, that's, they've got really good players, so it, it probably was. Um, but we'll have to go back and really look at the film to, to know exactly what happened. What was your message like to the guys after this game? How did you still kind of keep them motivated? I told them what I just told you. Um, I know right now it's tough. Um, it, no one likes losing, and our kids obviously still compete very hard. Um, they give great effort. Um, we're capable of, of, of being right there. Uh, we've got to eliminate whatever those three to four minute stretches that we've, we've had in almost every game uh, that really has hurt us. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, We'll show up Wednesday to play a game against another really good Big 12 team, and they're not going to care how we feel or what happened to us today or what happened Wednesday. If we're not ready to play, we'll, we'll continue to not feel good after games. And so they need to start thinking like me. There's, there's no give in. You just keep holding on to the rope. You keep standing there. Sometimes you take some, some body shots and, and they hurt, but you, you try to get your swings in as, as much as you can also while you're fighting, and eventually you'll, you'll get the better of the other team. What do you think it is about playing in this venue <clears throat> that lights a fire in Cameron McGriff? I don't know. I mean, I, I can't answer for him. I, I'd like to think that as a junior and a captain for us who's played a lot, it doesn't take a venue to, to get him going. <coughs> but, but, but usually um, it's pretty natural that guys play well in great environments. Um, really good players tend to do that. So uh, I'm not surprised. I don't know exactly if, the, if it has anything to do with it. But certainly a lot of eyes on you, you know. It's it's a it's a big time place. What did you make of the <coughs> the role that Mitch Lightfoot played for Kansas today, and how big he was in the outcome? Uh, he's phenomenal. I mean, he did what 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 you do when you put on that uniform. You, you when your opportunity comes, you, you make sure you're ready and you do whatever it is that your team needs on that day. And today it was just bringing energy, even in the sense of not giving up a layup, right? And and the crowd fed off that as teammates. Um, it's a really, really small thing, and it, and it actually, in some ways, it's a negative, right? It's a foul. The other team gets to shoot free throws. It's not a dunk. <laughs> it's not two points guaranteed. Um, and it sends a message that, you know, this is what we stand for. So um, there's been a lot of guys like him. I know we talk about all the Hall of Famers and Will and Paul Pierce. And this has been a lot of guys like Miss Lightfoot come here and help those teams uh, hang those banners as well. Obviously, Mike, you three guys who have been here before, but how, how do you feel like Isaac and your handled today? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I talked to the TV guys before the game, and they, they asked me about your coming home and playing here, and I told him I'm going to throw him the ball the first possession of the game, and I think he's probably going to kick it into the stands. And He didn't quite kick it into the stands, but he looked pretty nervous out there to start. Uh, but he settled in. Um, you know, again, I'm watching his evolution, and I feel really good about the future with those two guys. Um, I think they'll continue to get better. I was, I was very pleased with the way they played. We didn't play great. They made a lot of mistakes, like we always do, but um, they weren't overwhelmed by the, by the environment. Lindy spent a lot of time with the trainers pregame. Were you 
even this morning, not sure whether how much you were going to have from him or feel pretty good about it? Yeah, I mean, you were there. He didn't practice much yesterday. Um, you know, just add it to the list, man. Just, I, I don't worry about it. Whoever's available will play. I, I, that's kind of that's what it is. And, and we'll try to do as, as a staff everything we can to A, protect them from hurting themselves further. And then whoever's available, we'll try to put ourselves in a position to, to try to win. Is Duncan just kind of in the same situation? Um, he's better. He's better. He just he, he might have been a little bit overwhelmed today by the uh, by the environment. He made a big play. He went to the glass. Um, so I mean, I, from an injury standpoint, he's probably he's better than Lindy is right now. Um, but probably not quite ready for today. You more, got more than just an injury standpoint. What exactly is Lindy's injury? Is it his left knee? Uh, he's got some tendonitis. I mean, it's not anything major. Just it's 20, 23 games into a college basketball season. <laughs> it's little aches here and there, and I was played up on him after the game. Well, right, right before the game at TCU, and uh, wasn't necessarily better on Thursday. Uh, was a little bit better yesterday. And, you know, he continues to get treatment. He takes care of his body as best he can. But it's when you when you play, you know, what he's been playing the last three weeks that happens. We're asking a lot of him. He's given us everything he has. You, you mentioned getting the trend of some teams being able to shoot kind of above their average from three point range chances. You guys have, have you been able to put your finger on on why that's happening? Um, no, I've, I've really not tried to focus on that. I actually started with, with Baylor. Baylor came into our game. I think they were three hundred and thirtieth in the country in threes, and then they started with us. They shot like seventy five percent from three for the next three and a half weeks. <laughs> so, and then obviously you know. It continued on. K State shot really well from three against us. TCU opened the game and made nine threes in the first half. Um, so I, I don't know exactly what it is. Obviously, we are playing a lot more zone. I mean, that's that's a product of that. Uh, so we're not pressuring and taking away those shots as much. But we got to do a better job of contesting uh, and getting there earlier on the catch. You guys were close the other night at TCU. You went into the half tied here. Is it getting harder to keep your guys' heads up, or can they see that you guys are getting better? I don't buy into that. With competitors, but there's no such thing. If, if their heads are down and they don't feel like they can play, I would advise them not to show up to practice. In our program, when you show up, you're going to do your job at a high level every single day. And you're going to compete to try to win because it's not about you. It's not about how you feel. It's not about how I feel. We don't represent our, just ourselves. We represent a lot of people out there who expect to see a certain level of effort. Um, and eventually, they expect us to have win some games too. But for right now, uh, the effort must continue to be there.